Hi guys, how are you? As I said before, I am shooting for you my film reviews with the help of a little friend. Today we will analyze Brazil, the great Brazil. Um, also, you can find a long and written version uh, of the review at the bottom of this video. Um, Brazil is a black humor, a British movie uh, directed by Terry Gilliam in 1985. Um, how can I introduce this movie with a few words? It's really hard because of its magic on me. Um, here we are talking about a scenarist with huge imagination. I basically emphasize soundtrack of the movie, um, few inner feelings of the main character and the terrorism uh, at this movie review. First of all, I would like to mention music of the movie, which is Cuarela do Brasil. I'm not sure if I say it right or not. <laughs> the song was the most important factor with its uh, colorful tunes uh, for the dynamism of the movie. Um, I think song was used to save the audience from dramatizing too much. Let's talk about inner feelings of the main character, who is Lovri. Um, I believe that Lovri has some conflicts with his mother throughout the movie and he would like to prove himself to her uh, throughout his life. Um, as far as I am concerned, Lovri is fixated in phallic stage, so he couldn't develop a healthy identity. Um, his behaviors express the Oedipal complex, which term is proposed by Sigmund Freud. In one sense, Lovri replaces Jill's, the main girl's face, uh, to his mother's unconsciously. Um, we can see uh, the Jill's face in his uh, mother's body. So there is an um, expression of his conflicts. You can find the description of the Oedipal complex in the written version of the review. At the end of the video, I would like to talk about how we judge people without questioning. Movie tried to show us that we should not judge people by listening authorities in our cozy home environment. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, so you can find the written version of the review uh, at the bottom of this video, as I said before. Uh, so see you in another film review. And uh, sorry for my grammar mistakes. As you can guess, uh, my native uh, language is not English. So bye-bye.